actually I'm going to teach us how to properly measure depending on whatever clothes you want to sew, whether you want to sew shirts, whether you want to sew trousers, whether you want to sew gown or anything. So we have our parameters here. There are still lots of parameters, but let's first treat these ones. Because I know that if you know these ones, automatically you can make any clothes of your choice. Okay, we have the round head. Yes, actually, you can measure round head. We have the round neck, we have the shoulder, round bust, bust length, under bust length, round under bust, waist length, round waist, hip length, round hip, armhole, bicep, sleeve length, round sleeve, also round tie, trouser length, inseam length, round wrist, and the words round ankle. So we are going to treat these things one by one. I'm going to show us how to measure using both um, a lifeless mannequin and measuring also on physical human being. That is our fine gear. Okay, so let's start with the head. Some of us might be asking like, what do you use head for? Like, yes, now, example now, if you are, if you want to make a cap, depending on any cap you want to make, you all, you must measure the word round head. That is composed, right? Come, let me measure. Assuming I want to make a cap for her now, hmm? all I need to do is what? Measure the word round head. Round there, just put your thing round the forehead, like from the back to the forehead. So, please don't tighten it. Okay, like now her round hair is what? 23. Please, if you want to give a little spacing, like if you want to free it a little bit, all you have to do here is just put a finger in between the words tape. What we have here is what? 23. But if there is no finger, what we should be having here is what? 22 and a half. Yes, that is 22 and a half. Are you seeing it? Okay. So, that is for round hair. Now, let's talk about our round head neck. Yes, round neck. If you want to make a shirt, if you want to make a shirt, you know our collar, you don't need it to be excess. So, we act, we, so we need a very correct round neck. So, in order to get it, this is just how to get our round neck. Just put the tape around the base of the neck. Okay. Put it like this. Remember what I said, for you to give a little allowance, you have to put one, two of your fingers, depending on the allowance you want to put. Okay? Now, her round neck is what? 14. That is how to measure a round neck. Okay, let's move over into the word shoulder. Let's move over to what? Shoulder. Now, for us to measure the shoulder, how do we actually measure shoulder? It's very simple. To measure a shoulder, you really have to start from either the left corner bone, to the right collar bone or the right collar bone to the left collar bone vice versa now which one is the collar bone you know we have this is her hand then when you touch here you will notice the joining like the joint as in the bone joining the two hands as, as in joining both the shoulder and the um, hand together do you understand on that joint as i'm feeling it now that is actually the word the collar bone so from there you take this one then also to this particular point So what do we have? All we have here is uh excuse me. Okay, 15 inches. That is our shoulder. 15 inches. That is the color bone. Okay, if you still want to, okay, let me just use this one as an example. This one is an armless mannequin. The color bone means from this joining to this joining. Okay, let's check what the color bone of what the shoulder is. The shoulder is also what 15 inches. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to what round bust. Yes. Round bust. For you to measure her round bust. Round bust is just round the what breast. Like, see, look at it here. You put your tape like this. Excuse me. Put your tape like this. Please make sure if you're making. A cup kind of garment, you know, sir? please make sure the person is wearing a bra, probably a push up bra. Please let the person pack the bus very well. If not, you are not going to get the correct measurement. Okay, now put the tape like this. Please make sure that the tape is actually passing through the what through the two nipples. Yes, okay, don't squeeze it hard, neither do you what give excess allowance. 
just like this. You can put one of your fingers, two or more, depending on the allowance you want to give. Okay? Actually, what I have here is what? 34 and a half. So that is how to measure bust. It's just simple as that. Okay. Now there's something that I really want to say here. Please. Um, there's something with measurement. Why measure it? You see this bust I just measured now. There's also what we call the bust length. Please. The length goes with the word circumference. For you to really get a circumference, you must also get the word length. Like both of them works together while cutting. What do I mean by this? Bust length is from shoulder to the word nipple point. From shoulder to what? Nipple point. If you like, you can ask your customer. I don't think it's that embarrassing. You can ask your customer, excuse me, ma'am, please, where is your actually as in where is your nipple? The customer really have to do what? Point. Ma'am, where is your nipple? Okay. That shows that uh where? Is it that please? Mm -hmm. Okay, that shows that her nipple is at what? Nine and a half. She? That is what it means. So that is what bust length, please. That is actually the bust. That is how to get the bust length. Also, there are other mean different ways of getting bust length, but this is actually one of the ways of getting bust length. Okay. So after getting your bust length, please see nine and a half. She that is when you go over to get your what bust circumference, please. Your round bust. That is how we do it. So her round bust is what 34 and a half. Please see it here. Okay, then next you go over to our what? Under bust point. What do I call under bust point? Some people call it half length, some people call it different names, but please I call it under bust point. It's from what? Shoulder, then put your day from the shoulder, pass through the nipple, then to the base of the under bust. That is the under bust point. Do you understand? So that is how we do it. Look at it here. So her under bust point in this case is. Thirteen inches, yes, that is her under bust point. Thirteen inches, yes. So after getting the under bust point length, please look at it here. Under bust point. Um, where is it? Oh yes, under bust length. That is actually what I got. Okay. So let me also use the mannequin and explain it. For us to get our under post, look at it here, under post point. From shoulder, move directly to the under post. This one is actually what? 13 to 13 inches. Yes. Are you seeing it? Now, see our nipple point is what? Nine and a half. Okay. So after the under post point, you actually get, you, you get the what? Round under bust. Round under bust. Just put your tape round the under bust. Whatever you get. Please don't make it too tight. Neither do you make it what, too loose. Okay. This one is what? 26 and a half. That is it. Okay. Then what else? We've treated our head, round neck, shoulder, round bust. Post legs, under post legs, front under post. Now let's go back to the waist. Waist. To get our waistline, this is actually our mannequin. To get our waistline, the waistline is the tiniest region around the See, the waistline is the tiniest point around the world's west region. What do I mean by the tiniest point? Now look at this mannequin. Look at this mannequin. You will notice that from here to here, this point is the tiniest region. So that tiniest part, that tiniest point is called the word west line. Look at it here. From here to here is the west region. Yes, now, in between this west region, you will see this particular place that is very, very tiny or not. That is the word. Run, um, waist line, please. So in order to get our waistline, you steal from what shoulder to what. So for this particular mannequin is what sixteen what inches. That is the waistline. So in order to also get our what round waist at that sixteen inches, please 
put your tape direct, like get the circumference, that is what round waist. So the round waist of this particular mannequin what, is what? 25. You should remember that our round under boss was what? 26 and a half. Why the round waist is what? 25. So that shows that what? The waist is the tiniest part of the body's hip length. You know, after measuring the hip length, we also get the what? Round hip. Okay, to get the hip length, this is how to get the hip length. You are seeing this mannequin now. At this point, at this point you are seeing now, is the hip length. Which particular part is the hip length? Hip length is that point. As in, hip length is the, the most protruding point around the world, hip region. The most protruding point around the world, hip region. Now look at this now. If I want to measure the hip length, this is the most protruding point. This circle now is showing that this place is the what? Hip region. So this is the most protruding point. Now let's look at it very well. Let's check it out. Okay. So what's the hip line? Now measure now from here now to here. The hip line of this mannequin is what? 35 shape. The hip line is what? 30. From either 34 and a half to what? No, 24 and a half to what? 25. Look at it here. From this point, look at it here. 24 and a half. So that is actually the what? Hip line. Okay. So after the hip line, you measure the round hip. Round hip is still at that same point. Just put your tape round. Just place your tape like this. That same point. Just place your tape. Now look at it very well. On that same point, what we have here is what? 39. That is actually how to measure your round hip. Now look at it very well. It went exactly around the world. Hip. Okay. 39. Okay. So we are done with the hip length. We are done with the what? Round hip. Now let's move on to what? Ambo. To measure the ambo, it's very simple. Just put your tape around the ambo like this. That is how to measure the ambo. Now, ask her to raise her hand a little bit because if she keeps her hand like this, it will hold the tape. So ask her to release it. Okay, you can balance it. Please don't let it be too tight. You know, we need the ones too loose. Okay, our round arm hole is what? 16 inches. That is our round arm hole. 16 inches. Yes. 16 inches is our round arm hole. Okay, we also have the abdominal arm hole. We also have the bicep. Bicep. Most of us must have head bicep. Where is actually this bicep? See? When I measure the ammo, see what I actually did? Are you seeing it? This was what I actually did. Okay, now, see this tape. See the base here. So, in order to measure the bicep, see, ammo is like this. Why bicep is still on, at that same base, like this. So, our bicep is what? 11 and a half please remember at this in this case i just put my words two fingers because i needed allowance like that that's actually what i did so to get your bicep is like this please your armhole is like this okay we are done with bicep now let's go back to our sleeveless let's go back to our sleeveless and what run sleeve okay Sleeve length. See how to measure sleeve length. From that same color bone. You know, when we measured our shoulder, we did it like this from this color bone to this color bone. So, in order to measure your sleeve length, it's from that same color bone down to wherever you want the sleeve to stop. Let's say we want the sleeve to stop at this 9 inches. So, that means the sleeve length is what? 9 inches. So, at that 9 inches, please don't shift. That is where you measure your round sleeve. Now, with the little space we want around our round sleeve, our round sleeve is what? 10 and a half. 
that is the round sleeve. Okay. So let's go back to the round tie. Trouser length, insane length, round waist, and what? Round ankle. Let's start with what? Round tie. Round tie is usually used whenever you want to make either a short or a trouser, jumpsuit, you know, anything like that. So to get our round tie, you just put the tape like this. Thank you. Ask the person to, please, ma'am, can you separate your leg like this? So you now put it like this. Okay, with the little spacing I've given. Now, if I really want to make the trouser to be kind of fitted around this tie, her round tie is what? 22 inches. But if I want to free it a little bit, it's what? 23 inches. Look at it here. If I really want to make it to be fitted, although not too fitted, it's what? 22 inches. But if you make it, if you want it to be too fitted, that, that means you should be working with what kind of stretching material. Do you understand? So that because if you use non-stretching material, please, you might have problem at the end of the day. Please. So it's what? 22 inches. Normally fitted. So non-fitted is what? 23 inches. Please. That's how to measure the tie. So next thing is what? The trouser length. Please. Trouser length is from the waist hmm? down to where you want the trouser to stop. Please. Let's say you want the trousers to stop at the ankle. So, madam, where is your waist for trousers? Okay, on this point, okay. So, let's say we want the trousers to stop at the ankle. So that means, how many inches do we have here? We have 30, at the ankle is what? 39 inches. That means the trouser length is what? 39 inches. But if you want it to exceed that 39 inches, please, assuming you are making a palazzo that you want to use to wear heels, please make it to be modern. You can actually use like 43. Are you seeing it? So that when you wear your heels, it will no longer drop on the floor. Rather, it will look very, very smart and good. Okay. So that is actually trouser length. At that same point, you can also get your what? Knee length. Knee length. I think the knee length is not there. So for you to get your knee length, from that same waist to the knee, look at it very well. From the waist to the knee, so her knee length is what? 23. Are you seeing it? 23 inches. So for us to also get our what? Round knee, round knee. At that point, please, please remember what I said. The length goes with the what? Circumference. Anything you get the length. If you get the knee length, that means you also need to get the what? Round knee. If you get the waist length, you also need to get the what? Round waist. If you get the under bust length, you also need to go get the what? Round under bust. That is just how it goes. You cannot get one and leave the other one. Okay. The round knee. Yes, measure our round knee. And that thing you need to ask the person is that, please, madam, can you just kind of bend your leg? Okay. So the Ajimi in the person now does her like, as in the person now folds her leg like this so that the trouser will not be that so tight on him or her. Do you understand? So you need to ask your customer to madam, please can you just kind of bend your leg, you know? And she will do it like this. So that is to tell you that trouser will be okay on her. Like this, okay. Okay, so what we have as our round knee is what? 15 and a half. Okay, that is very, very good. So next thing is our, our the ankle circumference, the ankle circumference, how do we actually get it? How do we get it? So now, place is not just by placing your tape like this. Because when you place your tape like this and say, okay, the round um, ankle is what, 10 inches. What you need to ask yourself is that, are you actually sewing with what, a stretchy material or non-stretchy material? Assuming you are sewing with a stretchy material, this 10 inches is actually what, good. It's better because if the material can stretch, you can remove it. But if you are not making with a stretching material, it's not possible. You cannot wear it. Neither can you remove it, even if you mistakenly wear it. So what you need to do is what? Let's say I want to use 12. You need to check whether actually would 12 pass through my leg. So if 12, if let's say if 11 can't pass through your leg, then you throw it. So that's how you try. And at the end of the day, you get whatever that will pass through your leg. Like assuming you are making with non-stretching fabric like now comfortable one for her now should be what 13 inches yes 13 inches 
That's how to do it. Okay. And then the other one. We still have our inseam length. Inseam length. Okay. Now, see how to get inseam length. To measure inseam length. Please, when we say inseam length, see. Remember when we say trouser length is from west down to the what? Ankle. Now, the inseam length is from the crotch, crotch point. Are you seeing it? From here down to the what? Ankle. 